Hey everyone, I love fan art. I draw fan art myself, I've always drawn fan art. And a little while ago, I saw a five-year-old obsessed with Kirby draw Kirby. And that made me think about how I started out and I was like, I think I still have some of my old drawings from when I was a kid. And in today's video, I wanna show you guys some of that incredible art I made decades ago. Decades ago. Now, I don't draw a lot anymore these days. Number one, I don't have a graphical tablet anymore. And number two, I just don't have a lot of time. I'm working on some other projects that have to come first. Uh, I'm also working on my driver's license. Uh, I'm working more these days. I barely have time to play all the games I want to play. But that doesn't matter anyway, because I don't want to go over art I recently drew, because I do still draw. Again, I want to go over my retro art and just show you guys some of the stuff that I used to draw when I was just a wee little lad. We're gonna go in order a little bit, but again, I don't want to show new stuff. The stuff I'm going to show now is already borderline stuff I don't even want to show because that's not funny because it's not old enough. But I just want to show some stuff that I've drawn. This is like about 10 years ago. Well, I'm 39 now. This was when I was about like 30-ish. Um, totally rad on the original NES. Um, I drew, sometimes I just draw it in pencil first and then I digitize it afterwards. I retrace the lines and then color everything digitally. Uh, I like working like that sometimes. Totally art. Like the uh, totally, totally art, <laughs> totally red. Uh, the character can transform into different creatures. I drew that, you know, just having some fun with that. It's a criminally underrated game. Another one that I have in this little folder here. Um, this is a little bit older, I think. It's Turtle Rock of a Link to the Past. Um, I, I, I think I even digitized this one already. This one is pretty old. This one must be about also about 10 years old really these in this folder I think you got Turtle Rock you got Link here as the cowardly bunny I always love that stuff that's some other stuff in here I did like some button kaitos fan art like you know all of these I have them like digital in color already somewhere um, here we have like Adventure of Link I wish I put the dates usually I put the dates on that I don't have them on these um, but I think I can fi find the dates of these, you know. So yeah, so I always drew fan art. These are all a little bit more recent. I think I have some more button kind of stuff in here. Like, let me see. Oh yeah, here we are. Uh, some button kind of fan art in here. Like we have like lewd in chibi form. Uh, I think I did every single character, you know, in chibi form. We have Kalos, you know, they're doing like some of my favorite attacks. But yeah, like I said, that's not old enough. I want to go beyond that. So, we're going to go way back. Right? That must be like 10 years ago, something like that. We're going to go over 20 years ago. I have a couple of these. I think I only have like two in this specific album. When I was... Uh, this is in 2001. In 2001, I was 17. I think I was maybe 16 when I made this one. f 0 Everybody's favorite character, Roger Buster. I think I even do, did it in Barrett because of the, um, the the fan art, the the fan art, the screenshot I took this from. Maybe I don't remember exactly. Again, you know, it's like uh, what? How was it? Two thousand and one. That's like what twenty two years ago now. Holy shit! So I have Zero X fan art. Absolutely amazing. I think I have one more video game one in this one. Oh yeah, um, Smash Brothers. This one is more than with pencil. I think I paused the game and then just worked off that. Um, we got Super Smash Brothers. Got like Samus. Let me get rid of this little thing here. Got like Yoshi fighting Kirby with Nest, the bob -omb coming there, you know. Uh, we got Samus over here. I always like the little effect I gave because that's what she has in the game, you know. Very cool. But again. We can go further back. Come on, this is like what, 22 years ago? I was like 17, we can go way further back. Back when I was in school, I was bored quite often. Uh, this was in 1999, so I was like 15 years old, something like that. I drew 
the GoldenEye comic. That's right, I do these little things with the means I had on like my school papers, these little comics of, I think I did like every level in the game for this stuff. Basically, you can see, and then I taped them together in the end, I made a little booklet out of it. And basically every frame ends with uh, James Bond saying, fuck, because it's going wrong, like he's dying or whatever, you know. It's like really cheaply done. You know, I did these during school, well, when I was bored and stuff. Um, so we have that one. But we're going to get into the really good stuff after this one. So this is one that I did with my brother, but he's the one who like put it on paper. When I was playing Secret of Evermore in 1995, I was 11 years old. There's a maze in the game. I hate it when old school games have mazes in it. But, and I couldn't figure it out. And so my brother, he was like, just play it, we'll draw it. So he drew this map, we did this together. And no wonder I couldn't figure this out. Because again, it's, a, it's a, like a Super Nintendo game, you know? So every screen moves and it's like a section of a maze. And this maze was huge. Huge! This was such a big... Look at it. Every little square is a room. Maybe I'll do it like this. I don't know if the light is going through. Every little square on here is a room. It's absolutely crazy how big that maze was, you know? Like, all the little crosses are dead ends. And, like, as an 11-year-old going through such a giant maze, you just got absolutely lost. It was ridiculous how big this maze was. So, yeah, we drew that. On there, while well, he drew it again, but we made it together. I always save that. That was in 1995. I was 11 years old then. But we're gonna go a little bit further back now. These are some of my greatest treasures. I'm not even kidding. These are the oldest drawings that I could find that I had. And the first one is actually a cheat book. So me and my best friend back in the day we would always hang out, we would always play games. We don't really talk anymore. I found him once again, we started talking a little bit, drifted off again. He just changed, I just changed. But we made a little cheat book and we called the cheat book Iron Games. Iron Games. So this is technically a little cheat book. It has like codes, uh, tips and tricks for video games, but I drew you know, so we have Super Mario World, we got like what the Yoshi eggs do. Again, I was eight, you know, I was, um, was it? Eight, yeah, about eight years old, something like that. Between eight and ten years old. So Captain America, the way I even wrote Captain <laughs> stuff like that. Absolutely crazy. Like some of the secret moves you could do in the game. Uh, and again, the way this looks, like this is exactly how we did it back then, you know. We made like holes, we put it with like the little rope together and stuff. And then I drew the stuff here. We have got like um, lemmings, um, a soccer ball, and there's a great soccer ball. A boo, like Kirby UFO. We've got like timers, Luigi lives, Captain America the shield and stuff. And this is part two. This is part two because my friend made one as well. We divided up the tips and tricks we knew back then. We were like, okay, I'll take this trip. Uh, you'll take these uh, tricks and stuff. You take these codes, I'll take these codes. And we divided them up and it was a two part Iron Game series. And his part, I make a little sketch in the back. His, his version should also have mine kind of in the back. So that's the one that he did. Yeah, that's the one I did. So all these little drawings, again, I must've been like, about 10 years old, I wanna say. Um, Super Mario World is in here for the Super Nintendo. So that must be, yeah, like 10, 11 years old, something like that. So yeah, it's all these codes and stuff and little drawings that I did. And I don't know, I just, I do love it that I still just have this after all that time. But I can do better. Let's say uh, Super Nintendo games are in here. It's gonna be about 95, so I'm gonna say I'm about 11 years old, maybe 10 years old when I made this, because it's definitely um, earlier than the, um, the map. It's way before then. So yeah, we're gonna say that was 11, so this is gonna be about uh, 10 years old probably, depending on when these games came out. But again, I can do better. We're gonna go back twice more. I have a book that I made and I wish how old I was. I wish I knew how old I was when I did this. Um, this could be earlier than the comics that I'm going to show you. 
and I'm not sure. Uh, this might be before then. I'm not sure. But this is not the best part. I'll save the best part for last. They're around the same time, but this might be the oldest. I'm not sure. I could be anywhere between six and eight years old, I think, when I made this. It's a book that I wrote. And again, you know, I made it, put it together with a rope. This is a book that is called Kirby's Joke Land. That's what it's called. Kirby's Joke Land. Look at Kirby. Little Kirby on there. It's like the sign. I love how old this is still intact because it's like little crazy balloons and like whatever. That double thing with the crown. Oh, it's a crown. I thought it was a cake. You know, Kirby's Joke Land. And Kirby's Joke Land, Joke Land is a book that I wrote. And it has like little drawings here. Of like the little devil and stuff. It's a very important character to the story, the devil. I like this little ransom note. It's like three pages long. So there's, there's, all, there's a story in there. I'll tell you guys a little bit what the story is about. It. And we have like page number two with the cop car and everything. Like it's very important to the story. Like I'm not joking. You know? Page number three. Like I wrote the whole thing. You know here we have like the three little Kirby's. They're all like really small down there. And then the final page has the end of the story and Kirby's family photo of course. And the map of my world that I created, that I stole from Nintendo, which has like a lot of the levels. So this is Kirby's joke land here. This is like Kirby's house, Kirby's family's house, the river rat, which is like a roller coaster that I went on when I was a kid. You know, the roller coasters, the orange river, got like the, the, the trick forest, uh, stone uh, grove, I think. The butter building, which comes straight from the Kirby game. Got the yogurt garden. And the castle of the devil folk. Because the story is... The story of Kirby's Joke Land, which is canon, is that um, me and my best friend, which we made this together, it's the same friend, um, we're being called by Kirby because Kirby got a message from the devil people that the devil people are going to attack Kirby and his family. So we're like, oh my god, no. So we're going to go on an adventure. Uh, me and my friend, we're going to meet Kirby. And then we're going to go through all this stuff. We're going to go through the forest and stuff. Uh, we've got to save the, the, the King Balloon is who messaged Kirby, apparently. King Balloon here. Uh, and then they're being discovered. We're going to have a revenge. I love how like, I wrote revenge. Leave him, you know, have like a revenge, you know, you gotta save everybody, you know, we're gonna go through Kirby's joke land here, like all the stuff, you know, we gotta go through the, the Kirby went into the prison, and then like we're gonna save him with the police car and stuff, and then like there's this treasure over here, I think, you know, we, we go over the, the trick forest, you know, uh, with all these fire and ice powers from the other Kirby's and whatnot, like it's a whole story again. A lot, I, mean, I can't even say how I don't know what happened to the bottom of the page. And again, you know, like, I drew like Kirby there. And uh, the map that I drew and everything. Like, I can't believe I still have this. But we can go even further back. Now, this was a, the next thing, two things I'm going to show you. The, there's a comic. A Zelda comic and a Mario comic. Now, the Zelda comic is based of a link to the past but it has a lot of the nest stuff but it has a link of the past stuff in it and i think a link to the past was released in 92 i want to say so this is really the stuff that i was the youngest for unless again this one this might have been before that this could be six seven eight this could be earlier because this is really nest curvy stuff but this Without a doubt, this is about when I was 8 years old. I did these two comics. I did a Legend of Zelda comic. It's very cool, you know. I'm gonna show like nice close-ups of this, you know, the story, all these panels and stuff. It's like Link, he's just like, oh, the Zelda's being kidnapped, you know. Um, Link is just attacking, a little bit later, you know, Link is attacking people, he's fighting, he's fighting the dragon, like the dragon goes away, he gets like the bombos and ether, I think, I always love those attacks, like he's just using the attacks over here on the enemies, the, the bombos and the attacks, he discovered the tree, or he remembers somehow that Ganon made us a magic tree, like in the game, you know, and he runs against it and the tree opens up, like I even made like the recoil attack and everything, it's crazy, you know, and like doesn't work, so he does a super shooting attack, so the tree opens up, you continue on the other side, 
The tree opens up, Link falls in the hole, there's a little trampoline there to block his fall, of course, and there he meets Tiny Toon Tasmanian Devil, and that's the end of my comic. <laughs> I don't know, I'm eight years old, what do I know? <laughs> this is really great. And with that, I made the next one, and I think the next one I made it first. I don't know how long before that, it might have been approximately around the same time, but this one is based on Super Mario Brothers 3 specifically so it could be when i was around seven years old this was definitely before the zelda one so super mario the comic it also just randomly ends just don't look at the final thing yet it's gonna be, it's gonna be great it's gonna be great okay so super mario bros is saying hello you know we got like some hammer brothers over here throwing the thing at the goomba there's a paratrooper coming like out of the pipe and all that kind of stuff um, I guess thanking the paratrooper because the paratrooper made the flower appear. He gets the fire flower. Does he say something? Buster power! Yeah, <laughs> Buster power. Hey, <laughs> it's the 80s and stuff. And then it, like he gets Super Mario power. Wait, he gets two different fire flowers? That makes no sense. Super Buster power, Super Mario power. Or maybe this is because of the color shift? I don't know. But like here's his different color all of a sudden. And then all of a sudden he's like shit because like um, a, a feather falls on him. But then he's like cool because now he has the feather. And now he's like flying in the air, he's like, hey, a war pipe. So he goes into the pipe, he's like, bye. Then he's like throwing some bombs for some reason at the plant, I don't know. He's like, adios amigos, because there's another like trampoline. There were like key items in my uh, uh, crossover universe. Then he goes to some magical stuff. He's like, welcome to world nine. He's like looking on the map where he is. That's where the treasure is, because that always has to be a treasure somewhere, you know. Then there's like a giant thing, and he's like a new, a new fire flower. I do not have the treasure. Oh, he thought it was a treasure. It's not the treasure. Why does he look again like here? Why is he a different color over here? That makes absolutely no sense. Anyway, and then, like, he finds the treasure and he becomes a robot. Look, again, it's like the Tiny Toon Tasmanian Devil. I don't know. I'm like a little child, you know? So yeah, then he becomes a robot. He has a treasure. And here we can move to the next page, but, like, there, there's nothing there. I never finished this. I mean, didn't finish the other one either. But yeah, that's Super Mario Brothers retro style. I mean retro death star i guess because it's always retro so yeah these are like the oldest drawings i have if you can even call them drawings but like you know i always tried like giving like um it's always like from the side or from the front you know little like special effects and stuff i drew like the little enemies coming out of the pipe and all that kind of stuff like a like, like <laughs> i even did like grass and a little like tree thingy and stuff like a bush and again like with zelda you know, I went like even crazier with Zelda. It's the next thing, you know, you gotta like step it up. So do like the whole dra two-headed dragon, I do like a castle, tower. The explosion special effects have been upgraded in this version also, you know. Got like the attacks, animation and whatnot, like the, the way the character looks. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it would be fun to just go over that really old stuff that I had. Again, the very first Mario comic, I must have been like around seven, I think. Zelda was like around 8, even though I might have drawn these around the same time, in which case I was 8 for both of them. We have like the little booklet, this one could have been earlier because this is just original Ness Kirby, you know, I might have been anywhere between 6 and 8 for that one. Also when I was around 8 years old, uh, between 8 and 10 most likely, no, between yeah, around 10 years old, 10, 11, for the Iron Games booklet, I always wondered. If my friend still had his version, my friend, like, I, I doubt it somehow, I doubt it, I don't know. It would be fun if he still had it. Um, there's that one, you know, you know, like the map, and like the other stuff is like newer stuff. It was really about these things that I wanted to share, the very old stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Let me know what you thought of all this stuff. The Kirby story, the Iron Games cheat booklet, the cheat codes, the tips and tricks we used to call them. You know, my ultimate... Canon Zelda comic, the Zelda one, the Adventure of Link, and Super Mario Bros. comics and stuff. Let me know if you have anything like this yourself. Stuff you drew when you were very, very young. It doesn't need to be 30 years ago. Some of you are nearly 30 years old, you know. Like man, I'm turning 40. That's what I was starting thinking about. I was like, turning 40 next year. Like damn, you know. And then I look at like the stuff that I saved, all these really old drawings and stuff. Like I couldn't believe that. I still have these. P 
please let me know if you have anything like this really old drawings of comics from when you were like younger than 10 years old, you know, because that's why these are like the best. That's why it's so good. That's like 29, I have to think about it, 29 years ago that I drew that stuff. This is absolutely crazy somehow. Kind of scary when you think about it. I'm lucky to still be alive at this point, holy Anyway, again, let me know in the comment section if you have anything like this. If you enjoyed these, you know, I put some bit high res pictures throughout the video so you can really nicely appreciate all the beautiful detail of this wonderful art. Thank you all for watching. Check all my social media links in the description. Please, if you can, share this video with people you think might like it. Because YouTube definitely shadow banned my channel and you sharing them is the only way I can start getting subscribers again. Thank you all for watching and stay real.